it's a very bittersweet day. Christmas Day, day 25, final day of our holiday 2023 countdown. Let's see what's inside for today. December 25th, Jacob has given us a gift. Happy day 25, everyone. I know Jacob hopes that you will enjoy this extra chart that you find in your box today. The small trifle kindly take and keep it for the giver's sake. This is one of those perfect Jacob designs where you can choose any color that your heart fancies, make it one color or five colors and make it your own. Wouldn't this be amazing done super, super tiny as a pin cushion? Um, you know, oh, it would just be so cute. So cute. So our floss today is the gorgeous rosewood. Look at that. Such a beautiful color. It is close to a floss that we have in the collection called redwood. But it's a little bit lighter and a little bit brighter than redwood. Gorgeous. Our stitching for today is similar to yesterday along the lines of we're going to work our way around the entire chart, finding in all of the places where we're going to be adding in some small berry motifs with our rosewood floss. You can hear a dog barking outside. That is our neighbor's daughter's dog. We always know when their children have come to visit them because they have a dog that well, barks <laughs> a lot. So it's nice to know that their family is here visiting them. Um, now, there, as you can tell, today is our last day of stitching. So there is no border on this piece. So what I was thinking, for those of you who like to have a border surrounding the chart, if you check out Jacob's design that he's given us, this super simple border would work around our design if you wanted to add a border. Now you'd have to do some fudging, some finagling with the stitch count because of course this chart does not match the exact stitch count of this, but that's pretty, that's pretty straightforward zigzag pattern. There's no reason why you couldn't just simply chart your corners and, and make it work. Um, the other thing you could do is just do a, a straight line. Baker's block is probably the one I would choose if I were going to do it, but then, you know, I'm looking at this and this color, I don't know, it's pretty lovely. So if you're thinking you wanted to add a border around the entire thing, well, you've got lots of floss with which to do. All right, let's get stitching. And that is a wrap on our holiday countdown stitching. So let me point you out, point out where our stitching today was. We had two berries down here, and then we had berries in our bower. One, two, three, four, five, matching on the other side. We had two large um, flowers on the very top of the design, and then of course the legs for our birds. All done. Happy day 25, Flossmas Vlogmas, and Merry Christmas. Today is the last day of my Flossmas Vlogmas, 25 days of videos. Thank you so much for joining along with me this month. I also have my very last 12 days of finishes. I saved my favorite for last. I, well, it's my favorite. I don't know. They're all my favorites, but this one seemed appropriate for Christmas Day because it is Christmas Garden by Blackbird Designs. Ta-da! It's so good. It is so, so good. I When I started stitching this, I could not put it down. I started and finished this piece in six months, and for me, that is unheard of for a big piece. 
I stitched it on a 32 count um, some kind of linen I'm not sure what it was and um, Kathy the owner of my local needle workshop at the time that I kitted this up Fred and I um, she helped me choose four colors uh, that were not the called for because she didn't have the call for in stock so she helped me choose four colors that were very similar very complementary so I can't even tell you what floss that I used but I know it's 32 count two over two um, the last time I showed this last year or the year before somebody told me I'd forgotten a berry so down here in the corner you can see it's missing a berry see that down there uh, that's as per the pattern there's no berry there in the pattern some people add one in if it bothers them I stitched it um, as the chart dictated because frankly it, I didn't notice it at the time and it doesn't bother me that it's not there which is good since now it's framed behind glass um, and I I love this frame love this frame so this lives downstairs year round I don't take this one down this one this one has a place of honor downstairs all 12 months of the year. Blackbird Designs Christmas Garden. And that is the last finish that I have to share with you. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some things from my home. Well, that is it for me today. It's time for me to sign off and start celebrating the holidays with my family. Um, we are going to be just very, very quiet uh, next couple of days and uh, just, uh, just the four of us until my brother and his family come on Boxing Day. So I just wanted to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa to, uh, tomorrow to those who celebrate. Happy Boxing Day, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. It's coming in just a week, 2024, and I'll see you when the page of the calendar turns. Happy Christmas, happy stitching everyone. Thank you so much, it's been such a fun month. Thank you for being a big part of it. Take care, happy stitching, and I'll see you in January.